What is going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be building a DIY outdoor turtle pond. We got all the supplies we need. We got rocks, we got plants, we got driftwood, and lastly we got a nice old pool pond right here. Now before we transfer our turtles over to their new home, we got to get this thing set up first. We first got to get the rocks in. Boom. Just like that. Get them out as much as we can. You'll see some blue here and there. I actually think that looks pretty cool. But uh, for the most part, it's fully covered. I'm trying to think. So I did get that plant right there. So once it grows, it will grow over the pond, create some shade for them. We now have this big old piece of driftwood. I'm going to give it a nice quick rinse down and we'll figure out a good spot for this. It is extremely hot here in Florida. I mean, Holy cow, I think I'm gonna pass out. My whole shirt is drenched. This is all sweat. Can you see it pouring off me? It's crazy. Driftwood is all rinsed down. Try to find a good spot for this. This is gonna be cool though, because not only can the turtles come up on here and bask, but they can also use it as like hiding spots. So um, as long as we place it in a good area, we can make the most out of it. Boom, just like that. And then probably like build another basking spot right here. That way they all have spots. And then oh, just like that. That does look really sick. that probably then we got this artificial plant probably just wrap this right around the top here try to make it as natural as possible but, uh, you get the point here we're just trying to make it as comfortable as possible for them hiding spots basking spots and yeah they'll be happy turtles all right turtle pond is complete we got a really cool looking structure right in the middle here. Now, this thing is actually pretty decent size. I'm not sure if the camera does the justice, but it's pushing about almost eight inches deep and then probably around four feet in diameter just going around. So a lot bigger than where our turtles are at right now. As of right now, they're actually in the little patio pond. They've been in there since they were babies, but it is definitely time for them to get a bigger home. So they're gonna go into here once they outgrow this. They then have that giant old pond to go into. So we have to do this step before they get to that step. And that's only because we don't want them getting eaten by any bigger predators. So once they're big enough and we feel safe to put them in there, we will. Other than that, this thing came out pretty dope for how quick we did it. It is now ready for water. So uh, yeah, let's get it in there and see how it looks. All right, water is going in in three, two, one. It's coming, it's coming. Let's go. I'm honestly hyped to see how it looks once it's all filled up with water. Um, it's probably gonna be a little murky at first because the rocks, we did wash them out, but still we'll have some dust on them. So what we'll do is just keep the hose running so it filters out all that nasty stuff and we'll just, yeah, keep it running till it's clear. All right, so right now I'm actually gonna dr drill some holes on the side here. That way when it rains and stuff, the water doesn't overflow and our turtles can't get out. And I'm probably gonna have to do a whole bunch of holes. Boom. There's our little drainage. Perfect. So turtle pond is completed. We got water all filled up. We got our driftwood right in the very center. We got some basking spots, some plants, some hiding spots, bunch of room to swim around. They're only gonna be in here until they're big enough to go in the backyard pond, which will then be their forever home. But um, for the meantime, I think they'll absolutely love this. They'll have natural sunlight. They're in an enclosed screen so no predators can get to them. And if they were to escape this, they would also have to escape the screen. So they're like double secured. Think everything will work out. Alrighty, I got our turtles here in this bucket along with some fish. But look at the size of our pink belly side necks, how big they've gotten. Here's two of them, really, really good looking turtles. Had these guys for about almost two years now and they're gonna be getting a new home today. So here they go. First two turtles in the pond. Perfect. 
Now they have all of these hiding spots to hang out, go underneath that piece of driftwood. They also have some shade in that back corner and then some sunlight right here to bask out on. So this is a perfect little pond for them. Like I said, it is temporary. So as soon as they get a bit more size on them, they'll be going to the big pond. Next up is Timmy the turtle. This guy was actually rescued. One of my friends brought him in that can no longer care for him. So we took him in and he's probably one of the coolest little turtles. He has so much personality. There goes Timmy. Look at him, he's like, what the? You now I gotta get these three guys in. And if you remember these guys, we found them on the side of the road. Look at them. We got our Florida soft shell right there. Florida red belly sliders. Here they go. <laughs> Look at him. Going under those rocks, these guys are gonna love it. Absolutely love it in here. <laughs> He's already climbing up. Look at that. <laughs> He's going to get some sun. That's awesome. We got a whole bunch of mosquito fish right here. Add these guys in. Boom. That will definitely make the pond. Look at them all. <laughs> They're all coming around. Whole bunch of mosquito fish. <laughs> and those are actually all from the old pond so they've grown up with the turtles and they breed by the thousands so tur turtles will eat some of them as they eat them they'll keep breeding and be a little ecosystem in here that is the cutest thing look at this already he's just hanging out can i bet you on your head oh that was a little hard he's he's a fragile little guy but that is so cute he's not scared of us it's already it's been like 20 minutes since he's been in here thought he'd be a little frightened but that just shows you how much he likes his home. Look at him. Crawl on the bottom like that. <laughs> that is epic. And that wraps up today's video. Turtle pond is all said and done. Turtles are absolutely loving it. They have a lot more space in that patio pond. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Turtle pond came out pretty sick. Rate it one through 10. I mean, like I said, this isn't we weren't trying to do anything professional, more DIY. So with what we had to work with, I think it came out pretty cool. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And we'll see y'all in the next one. See y'all.